Not so long ago, I posted on my YouTube page about the ludicrously priced Talos from Audio Imperia. Turns out they were none too happy with my blurt about the library. So what did they do? They sent me an NFR copy of the library. <laughs> so, following through on that, I thought I'd make a video and show you all what the fuss is about. Let's get to the bottom of this library. <laughs>
Okay, so we have a 12-horn section here with enough articulations to keep the majority of composers happy and smooth legato. Smooth. The 12 lowbrow ensemble doesn't have legato, but you don't really need it to get good results here. Everything sounds clean, crisp, and consistent. Plus you get your sound design content as well. And there's four mic positions to choose from. plus a pre-baked natural scoring mix. Then a pre-baked modern mix with a little more push and clarity. All of the samples are retained with their pre-transients, so you get the lead into every note. just like with the Cinematic Studio series libraries. You can click on the type button to cut into the samples, which will make the short notes and the legatos respond instantly for sketching. So, cool. For all intents and purposes, just like Jaeger and Nucleus, the sound is top-notch, the programming and interface are solid, and the legato is of consistent quality. What's the downside to tell us that libraries like Jaeger and Nucleus don't have? Well, it's this. That's it. You've heard everything in Talos. 399 bucks, please. There's no way I would have purchased Talos. The price for this library is like taking a library like Cinematic Studio Brass and taking everything out except for the horn and trombone ensemble but keeping the same price tag. It doesn't make sense in my brain or yours. But why was this done? Well, I had a little chat with Jan from Audio Imperia and he explained that originally Talos was conceived as a library to give him the polished, epic brass sound he wanted for his composing needs. Twelve horns, twelve low brass instruments. After spending a small fortune on getting this recorded and polished, it was made available as a tool for other composers who were looking for the same set of sounds. So the library was set up as a kind of boutique brass solution at a boutique price to recoup some of the costs involved in making it. The problem is that Talos sits alongside the much more reasonably priced and content-rich libraries of Jaeger, Nucleus, Cerberus and Araya. It isn't marketed as a special niche boutique product and so appears as an alarming offset to Audio Imperia's catalogue. It's confusing to behold. But what's more apparent is this. Does the average customer really care about the sample developer's vision and the time and money they spent creating a product like Talos? Will the average customer, out of the goodness of their heart, say, you know, I feel for the work you put into this library, so I'll pay 400 bucks for it. No. The average customer doesn't care and can't be expected to care. That's the risk you take when deciding to sell a library like Talos alongside other demonstrably more bang-for-buck packages. But is the negative response you'll get from some of your customers or some weirdo with a YouTube channel really worth it? Well, that's for you to decide. Although perplexing to behold in all its overpriced glory, I've been told Talos is a one-off venture. Something Audio Imperia doesn't plan on doing again in the future. I say that's definitely a good thing. Audio Imperia's libraries are exceptionally well made and fairly reasonably priced, with the exception of the black sheep that is Talos. Would I recommend this library to the average composer? No. But if money is simply not an object to you and you so happen to need a library as specific as Talos, then by all means indulge yourself. You'll have a blast with the horns, You'll use the library in whatever songs need it, and maybe you'll say, gee, I really feel like that was worth 400 Macanudos. But you'd be the exception. For most other composers who don't have money growing moss in their wallets, Talos is like a $60 dessert that contains two very tasty scoops of ice cream and some lush topping.
And that's that. I've made my peace. I'll see you next time with another library. Check you later.